Okay, good mo good day everyone. So um, we are going to discuss now uh, your output uh, in which in this week uh, we are going to tackle on writing uh, objective tests. So, so by the end of this unit, so you'll be able to write uh, an objective test. So let us try to process uh, some work here. Okay, uh, let's try first with uh, group number five, uh, lives group. Uh, this is from section three. So they are tasked to write um, completion or close test. Okay. So completion or close test is like. Uh, uh, it's like a fill in the blanks test, uh, but uh, they are written in a prose or in a paragraph type. Okay. Uh, so, okay, so the group uh, made an example of a closed test. Okay. A closed test is primarily, uh, primarily uh, used uh, for. Uh, in English, uh, used to uh, test comprehension as well as the capability on uh, developing a vocabulary. Okay, so okay, um, first group uh, just made a very good test item. Okay, uh, only that oh. Okay, so based on very good test item, okay, um, there's only one, uh, two rules in writing uh, closed test. Uh, so in writing closed test, uh, so there should be no blanks at the first sentence of the item as well as on the last sentence. Uh, the reason they're behind for that is that, uh, First and the last sentence uh, usually uh, indicates the main idea of a paragraph. Uh, so that is why it should be leave, uh, there should be no blank on those uh, sentences. Okay. Then number two rule is that uh, uh, the blank should be at least at the Word interval uh, at least fifth, so for the six, seven, and eight, but not less than the fifth one. So, but, uh, second word, third word, or fourth, but at least fifth. Okay, so as a whole, okay, uh, the, gr the group five made a uh, very good test item, so only those uh, flaw, you know, uh, they. Uh, those two errors, uh, they have just committed right in the guidelines for closed test. Then, uh, let's uh, go to the one. Okay, group one. Okay, so though you are writing in the Oh, no. was this a, a true or false test no? so make sure that you are going to write your direction so in every uh, test item so you should be able to write the uh, direction okay uh, so far uh, this group okay uh, made a very good items only that uh, I just see some items here like on uh, number three no uh, no no number four okay number four number four is using double negative so we, we will not do double negatives so as you observe, observe here you cannot then without so it's double negative so avoid using negative statements and double negative statements the reason for that behind that is that if you use 
no, double negative statements. It is always true. The answer is always true. And for negative statements, the answer is always false. Okay. Um, okay, there's also uh, in item three, no? So they have used uh, infinitives, okay? So avoid using infinitives like always, some, most, you know? Um The reason for that, if we are going to use always, the answer is always false. Yeah, usually a common no. And if you are going to use some, so the the answer always is true. <laughs> uh, not really, but sometimes it's true, no. Okay, uh, there are some comments here about the objectives. Okay, and. So when writing the objectives, so uh, let's try to recall back on writing objectives. So always write it in the complete thought. No? Always write it in the complete thought because one, man, uh, the device we have observed, uh, objectives should be clearly stated and visible. No? It should be clearly stated. No? So we say identify verb. So, where should they identify the verb? So, it should be in complete sentence. Okay. Oh, okay. So, they have uh, improved the test items. So, I guess. Okay. But at least they, oh no, they already improved. Okay. Again, do not use the word understand. In writing objectives, no? as we have mentioned, understand is not observable. Okay, so not use the mention always, then double negatives, so not really. Okay, so some parts are not checked. Okay, let's move on to the next group. Okay, they, they have the supply type test. Okay, uh, this is a very good test item, so number one. Um, their test matches with their learning objectives. So I have to observe here, okay. Then, okay, um, though it's supply type though, but it is very clearly stated in their the direction and what to answer. So as a whole, I could say that this is a very good test item. So, all of these are very good test items, okay. Uh, good job, group, group three. Okay, let's move on to here. Okay, group number six. Okay. Okay, they have used a, an essay item. Identify the objectives, the story, okay. Okay, uh, uh, you can, so you can see here it doesn't match, no, it doesn't match the, uh, their, uh, test one doesn't match with the objective number one. So if it's identifying, then it should be identifying. And I guess, it, um, for this kind of objectives, you should not use an essay. I rather, on. Uh, I rather use objective test, no? Objective test. Any kind of objective test, no? Uh, because, go on. Uh, if you use essay, uh, when you say essay, it's you're going to construct. 
you are going to construct something but here identifying you cannot do identifying and then the essay I test okay Okay, objective two. I would just like to comment on objective two. So again, I would just like to go back to our previous lesson. No? Constructing an essay, it's not an outcome, but rather it's an activity. So when writing and learning objectives, it should be an outcome. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is very vague, no? So, one, it should, uh, in the direction of your essay, so it should target your learning out objective. No, it should target your learning objective. So it should guide how the students respond in leading to your learning objectives. Also, you are going to write in an essay item. You should always write uh, the basis of your scoring. Okay, let's move on to group number two. Group number two. Okay. So I have some comments here. Okay, it's Filipino. Uh, I guess all the objective one is being uh, addressed in this test, no? It's only objective one. Uh, matching type is only for low level thinking skills. Uh, this one is paliwanag, nakila, nakikilala ang halimbawa ng uh, ito. Yeah, C may. Uh, we can use objective test matching type for C. Pero in this test items, there's no examples here. No, there are no examples here. By the way, um, here, if you try to look at the direction of the test, okay. In a matching type test, you should always write the basis of your matching. Siguro, when you are going to improve this, piliin uh, tamang sagot. Oh, wait lang. Uh, how will you state it in English pa? But anyway, uh, I'll, I'll try not to force myself in <laughs> translating this one. But there, it should be here, written here, the basis of your matching. In your the direction. Okay, uh, very good. So the longer text is on the first column, column A, then the option are in column B. Okay, that's very good, no? Then also there should be more options in column B. Okay, very good. Then okay, if we try to look at here. Uh, the options no you can uh, to improve the possibility no uh, you can arrange these options you can arrange the options in logical manner so if it's textual you can arrange them in alphabetical order if it's date maybe you can arrange them in uh go on by uh go on siguro the uh the earliest the latest or the latest to the earliest if it's alphabetical mainly from a to z or you can also z to a but you can also do that one or if it's numbers uh, least to the most or the most to the least so you can always do that one okay let's have another one to uh, group number four of the match multiple choice test. Okay. Okay. For this type of test, no. Okay. Only 
objective A is being addressed in this test. Okay. Now, in in writing your stem, no. Okay. Uh, there are two parts of the multiple choice test. No, the question here it's called the stem, and these are the options. Then. Uh, Uh, the correct answer, so it's the key answer, and the one, the wrong answers, uh, they call us instructors. Okay. So, in writing this test, no, okay, uh, I would suggest that when you are going to write the stem, uh, you should write it in question form, the better. Oh, the better. Um, because if when you are going to write it in a sentence, then or in a fill in the blanks, uh, sometimes uh, it would lead to many answers. No. So that makes your test item not good. So to make it very good, so just write it in question form. Um, okay, if you have options, that, uh, let's say similar options from item one to three, so you can make it uh, you can arrange them uh, randomly no you can arrange arrange them randomly okay there's item five that's not part of the uh, objective okay okay so that's it for uh, um Section three. Okay, let's move to some examples in uh, section five. Okay, okay so let's start with. Uh, Uh, group number six of uh, section five. Okay, so here now it's uh, these are very good test items. So they are, are their test items match their learning objectives. Uh, yeah. uh, they all match, no? So that is very important, no? So always when you are going to prepare your test, so it should match your learning objectives or the, your learning outcomes, okay? Okay, this is very good, no? Because um, they guide the essay questions or the constructive response questions should guide uh, your students on what to respond and how to respond. Yeah. So explain it in your own words. So how to respond? Okay. Then limit your response to two hundred fifty words. Okay. So there's a guide. Okay. Uh, the only thing that is missing here is that uh, they forgot to show how the student should be rated or scored. So it should it should always write. Uh, the basis of scoring when you are going to write an essay item test. No, okay, essay item test is very good in writing essay item test. Okay, so essay item should facilitate or should assess higher or thinking skills, not lower or thinking skills. Okay, so again, no, this is the most. What's this? Uh, do you call this uh, the mm, the most common test used by teachers? No, uh, but this is the highly one, the most highly violated of all. No, uh, because uh, they 
try, uh, no, no, they try to use uh, as a item test for low level thinking skills. No. But if you are using low level thinking skills, uh, you should use an objective test. Uh, no, objective test. Okay, writing an essay class, no, it's uh, it's already a performance assessment, no, writing an essay. Now, we can consider writing an essay as performance because it targets higher order uh, cognitive, uh, higher order cognitive skills rather than the low level cognitive skills. No? We can consider this one as performance. So this is not, an, uh, this, uh, we may say that this is not part of the objective test, no? but it could be also uh, objective. Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's move on to the second. Okay, this is a very good. Okay. Okay, here. So always improve, no? Uh, in writing matching type tests, always write the basis of your matching in your uh, what's this? in your objectives. Okay, you should always write the mat the basis of your matching. Okay, uh, it's very good that they have arranged their options in alphabetical order. Very good. Then there are more options than the. Uh, premises then the premises are longer no? so just avoid in writing uh, tests like this uh, uh, regardless of the type no if it whether it's a matching type or fill in the blanks or in a multiple choice test so always avoid getting uh, context clues or leading clues no. So let's say, for example, she. Here, she. So definitely, the answer is a female. So more likely, I will go to B, C, or F, no? and so on. Or let's say he. So avoid this one. So meaning, your answer is definitely a male. Right? So try to avoid any verbal clues. Uh, I forgot, not talk context clues, so verbal clues. No, avoid using verbal clues in the uh, in writing your question or your premises. Okay. Okay. Let's move on to the uh, group number five. They are assigned to. Close this. Okay, again, no. Again, no blank should be placed at the beginning of the first sentence and at the last sentence. Okay. Okay, let's have uh, to number one. What's my comment here? Okay. Ah, uh, they are not quite no. Okay. Mm, class. Uh, okay. There are some items here. Uh, we can consider uh, defective items. Okay. Uh, I name one, four. What else? Seven, nine, and ten. Okay. Okay, these kind of questions are op opinionated questions. Okay, so no, these are opinionated questions. So we will try to avoid this one. Let's say, for example, number one ICT helps teachers in both pre service and in service teachers training. So 
it could be helpful to some, but to others, they are not helpful. Okay, so when you are going to write uh, items like this, because uh, when we are going to write a true or false test, they should be a factual statement. Now, how are we going to improve this one? So how are we going to write this uh, to make this a factual statement? Okay, so you should uh, write, uh, include, uh the author of this statement is a so to make it more objective no so according to uh let us say uh accord uh according to ruanto 2019 ict helps teachers in both pre-service and in service teachers training so that could be now a factual statement uh, factual or not factual no? so if it's true then factual if it's not true then a not factual statement okay so if it's an opinion so try to cite the author of that opinion no? so to make it a factual statement Okay, let's have here uh, some multiple choice tests. Okay, again, no, so use uniform type of premises. If it's question, then all question form. Let's fill in the blanks and fill in the blanks. Okay. Um, okay, for one and two, no, since they are using one, same question, so you may try to. Uh, one, arrange them in what's this randomly okay okay here okay uh, uh, number five try to use all of the above questions usually they are the answers okay avoid using all of the above options okay this is very good no? so when you are going to arrange uh, options with longer statements to try to arrange them in increasing length increasing length no? uh, the reason behind this is that so we try to take the longer sentence at the last part so that the shorter sentence should will be read by the students no? read properly because if one no, uh, if we try to place it the, the longer sentence at letter a so the possibility of that is students will no longer read the other options and usually longer statements are the correct answers right uh, i hope you would agree with me okay let's have the supply type test okay what's my comment here okay uh, item two and three she uh, the group uses a uh, double blanks now but this is okay because one uh this is okay since they will uh it's like an enumeration type no so they will call for specific answers okay but as much as possible try to avoid uh, multiple blanks in a sentence or in an item so this should be only one blank per item then number seven uh, the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place in okay this would call to to too many different answers no? so I know the answer here is lungs but I could say exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide takes place in Cagayan de Oro City. Uh, that also be true. Takes place in my room. Okay, that is also true. No. Uh, okay, nine and ten here. I will try to avoid this kind of uh, type of test item. Two and three, it's okay. 
it's like enumeration type. But 9 and 10, as ma I will try to avoid this. Two blocks in one sentence. No. We'll try to avoid this type of question. Okay, let's move on to the other section. Uh, let's try this group. Um, this is the improvised one, I guess. Yeah. Uh, this is a very good test item. But try to arrange uh, this one in alphabetical order. Yeah, there, it's already arranged there. Uh, here, only the one direction. So always write the basis of the matching. And also, how are they going to answer? So, is it connect? Are they going to connect? Or are they going to write the answer before the number? So, your direction must be clear. Okay. Uh, I guess this is the original one. Uh, let's see the multiple choice test. Uh, they already edited it. Okay, you can arrange the options here no, in alphabetical manner. No. So, put the A here to Z or put a Z from Z here to A okay so you can also do that one so I, I guess this is a very good that uh, these are very good test items okay. uh, let's have here the close test Okay, don't forget to write the direction of the test here. Then no blanks at the begin, at the first sentence and at the last sentence. Again, they, uh, they speak about the main idea of the paragraph or the whole selection. Then also, I'll try to avoid this one on oh, this multiple blanks here. Um, um, I can what's this? I can forgive this one because it's like an enumeration type. But in the actual uh, closed test where you are going to test uh, uh, students' comprehension and vocabulary, so you should one follow the intervals of writing the closed test, no? You should follow the fifth word interval. Fifth or uh, fifth or more, no? Not less. Okay. Okay, let's have here the essay. Okay, you can you okay you can apply all of this here, no? Um, uh, the difficult one of the one, the difficult, what is difficult in essay item is that when you are going to give ahead the criteria for checking, uh, 
the disadvantage is that some of these tests, uh, some of these, um, what's this criteria, are not applicable to uh, some of the uh, test items. Let's say, for example, number uh, read and understand. Okay. Okay. Uh, for this one, this is more of writing an essay. It's more of writing an essay. No? So you are going to construct uh, an essay. But if you are going to um, use this to check for item one, no, it's not applicable. No? It's not applicable. So um, for the scoring guide, uh, it's better to uh, you should better write it on the item mismo, no? the item. Okay, try to avoid this kind of questions, no? Okay, this is a low-level thinking skills question. Essay should uh, test higher order thinking skills. Yeah, this one also. Okay, also the, how should they, in what context they are going to answer. Uh, you should also write. No, uh, it should the test items should guide on how to answer. I guess items three and four are very good questions here. Are very good test items. Okay. And also, uh, this criterion here only targets these are. Uh, uh, these items three and four. Okay. Um, let's have this one. A true or false test. Um, okay, do not use this one. Familiarize. Okay, that is not measurable. Okay, that is not measurable. That uh, objectives. So here, uh, I can say the test items here are very good. No, only that one lang. Okay, you should. Uh, Follow correct syntax, okay. Capitalize the first letter of the sentence, okay. Okay, let's have this one. Okay, we have, uh, what's this? Okay, for uh, fill in the blanks test. Okay. Um. Okay. Do not. Okay. Again, appreciate unless. Avoid, try to avoid using the word appreciate unless you, uh, there is a method that you're going to add here. In a way, how they are going to appreciate that would be fine. Okay. Uh, okay. Some of the test items. Uh. Okay, uh, only objective to is address it is, I guess, in this test, no? Okay. Again, there should only be one blank at one sentence or one item, okay? Um, we'll try to avoid item two. Shades is a mixture with black which increases. It could lead to many answers here. Okay, here. Then also, okay, we'll try to avoid this one. Also, the other one is that no blank should be placed at the near beginning. No, no blank should be placed at the near beginning of the sentence. Okay. 
Okay, there's here matching time. Matching time test. Okay, again. So write the basis of the matching here. Okay. Um, okay. So always label. So this should be column A, this should be column B. Okay. Um what is fault in these test items is that the longer text, which is called the premise, are on column B, the right on the right side. Okay. Longer statements should be placed at the left side. Okay. The idea is that no. The idea is that uh, we write, uh, no, we do read from left to right, no? So if, so it would be comfortable for your students. So when, uh, the longer statements or the questions are in the right, on the right, on the right side. No? So uh, let's say when you're going to place uh, I mean, item A to here, item one, separate from longer but from a larger body of water by barriers, barrier islands or reefs. Okay, so when they're going to answer, okay, so they will just look onto it on the right side. No, so small words, no, so if you're using small words or lesser length in your column b so it's easier for them to locate the answer oh. so take note so longer statements on should be placed on the left side in column a okay then also this one no oh, um this is an example of a heterogeneous item why there are land forms and water forms. So if I am going to, if you are going to write this test, so I will separate this into two test items. So um, the first part it's the land forms, and the second part will be the water forms. No? So water forms. So again, no. Uh, when writing matching type, no, uh, it should be of the same kind, of the same kind. And also, there should be more options. So if there are ten premises, so there should be more than ten. Uh, more than ten options. Okay. Okay. You may arrange this one in logical order. No, in alphabetical order, whether from A to Z or Z to A. Okay, so I guess this group uh, corrected this one. Uh, the corrected test item is on top. Uh, I guess it's on top. Uh, it's here. Uh, this is a very good test item. Only that their direction and the water forms. Okay. Uh, there is okay, let's uh uh I have I am finished with this one. Okay, uh, I guess I am finished with this. Okay, let's uh process one last one. Let's do this section 13. Right now. Uh, I will just uh, we'll just skip that one because we are going to download it yet now. So kanidala. 
uh, fill in the blanks test. Okay, these are very good test items here, no? Uh, I guess. Uh, this is an example of a very good uh, supply type uh, test items. So with the multiple choice, okay, these are also very good test items. Only that for item one, try to arrange them again in increasing length, okay, in increasing length. Okay. Oh. Okay, for true or false test for this group, okay, again, no, uh, try to avoid infinitives, no, like always some, no, always and some. Then try to avoid negative statements also here. Try to avoid negative statements. Okay, uh, we're still going to download it. Okay, uh, this is an example of a very good one, uh, a very good uh, essay test item. Okay. How can you, okay. As a student, so there's a guide no, on what how to respond. Then what to respond also. Then they also rated there. Okay, the basis of rating they also uh, write it here. So as a whole, this is a very good test item. So very good job, section thirteen. Okay, let's process last one. Okay, here, uh, section ten. Okay, this, these are very good test items, uh, good job. Only that um, objective one and two are addressed. Oh, okay, delete me lang objective three. Okay, let's try this one. Uh, very safe, okay. <laughs> Okay, this is also good this item for a supply type test. No? Very safe this item. Very good. Mm, okay. Um, my issue with this group is that, okay, uh, for this kind of topic, I rather not use essay item. No. See, uh, so but in deciding for which type of test item, okay, uh, so you should be as strategic enough no, uh, to know. Uh, the uh, first the topic no, you should consider the topic as well as the learning objectives of the test before deciding uh, uh, what kind of objective test that you are going to use for your assessment or your evaluation Okay, uh, this is corrected one, but again. Okay. So I guess uh, there is one item here that is, does not belong to the group. Okay, there's one that item that does not belong to the group. Okay, this one. No? 
So again, no, when you are going to write for the matching type test, it should be of the same kind. And also, you should, uh, there should be more options than the premise. Column A is called the premise. Column B is called the options. There should be more options. Okay, um, this is very safe test items. Uh, okay, but, uh, I guess this is very good no? because they use of the same time since they are are using the same options all throughout. So they try to make it. Uh, what's this? They try to make it uh, random. Random. Oh, okay. So I guess uh, I have processed some. So for some sections that I have not processed, so maybe you just uh, study all my comments in all of your uh, outputs in this activity. I hope uh, you have learned something from this activity. Okay, so that's it. God bless everyone. See you around.